let me talk about random numbers in python well random numbers in python what are random numbers random numbers are those numbers they are we can have many numbers but among them there is no correlation there is no pattern that means if you are given some numbers one after the other then you do not find any kind of relation among them you cannot predict the next through any kind of formula or anything there are methods to test how random they are actually whether there is any kind of any trace of pattern exist between among them so those are separate things we will discuss about those things but first we will talk about random numbers that we create in computer in fact these random numbers are called pseudo these are numbers are called pseudo random numbers why because when you generate in computer you must have some underlying relation but within certain period within within certain range you do not find any correlation you do not find any uh, kind of pattern that is emerging out so these are the pseudo random numbers uh, we can create through some algorithm but natural random numbers are something those are actually pure random numbers for example atoms are vibrating randomly for example thermal noise in register brownian motion of particle etc all these are uh, due to random numbers okay it's pure random numbers now we'll talk about the modules and the functions of for various kinds of random numbers let me go to python and show you where they are okay here we are so in python there is a module called random so if you import random so and run that means and you see directory of random you will see there are very many different kinds of random numbers all those random numbers okay Ran random randin ran range etc etc there are very uniform and then there will be normal variates all those are various different gauss there are very many different kinds of random numbers if you now call a random number random say dot random here you have here you have one random number generator that means one function and if you do that if you now enter that it will give you some number if you run it again it will give another number if you run it again it will run uh, um, give you another number usually this random number generator in random module this will produce random numbers between 0 to 1 let me show you how you can see random what is there random dot random if you see the help it will show is a random method for random dot random instance and etc and in the interval this is actually half of an interval that means it includes 0 but excludes 1 so it includes lower limit but excludes the upper limit most of the random numbers are like that here so you have to uh, you know you have to know that uh, what random number generator does what so basically there are other random numbers for example you if you take uniform you can check that help random dot uniform it will show you something else that means it will tell you uniform method of random dot random instance etc get a random number in the range here you can tell the range lower limit and upper limit or this is half open interval or 
uh, full of full interval a b ok depending on the rounding ok. So, if you if you if you now write random dot uniform if you write say I want to create a random number between 2 to 10 ok. So, give lower value and then keep upper value upper limit ok uh, oh, I am sorry ok and you then you run of course, it will give something between 2 and 10 if you run again it will give you another number it will if you run again it will give you another number and so on. So, there are very many different kinds of random numbers some creates automatically between 0 to 1 some number some creates within a given range there are other random numbers which creates from some other distribution by the way here you have a uniform random number generator then there will be some other random number generator for example triangular or say gauss or log normal etc etc all normal and is etc so all those uh, point out that they are all those are create random numbers but they point out that you create random numbers from the respective distributions what are those let me if you are given some random numbers you will not understand uh, immediately that uh, what are those kind of random numbers they are random they have no correlation virtually so basically if you collect a set of random numbers pseudo random numbers for example here and you go on doing a histogram or a binning that means suppose you have a random set of random numbers from between 0 and 1 and there are various random numbers so you want to uh, create some bins so you want to see how many random numbers are between 0 and 0 0.1 between 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 between 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 and so on so suppose you have got between 0, point, uh, 0 to 0 0.1 you have got certain numbers then between 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 you have got certain numbers out of say 10,000, 1 lakhs or whatever random numbers and such and such and such ok all these intervals. So, you can actually uh, you can actually draw a histogram for example, you, you see from between 0 to 0 0.1 you can draw a bar like that between 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 you can draw a bar like that between 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 you can draw a bar like that and so on and so on and so forth okay okay so ultimately you have you will have certain shape of this uh, these bars and, and and if you of course join the middle you will have certain continuous distribution looking like so, here you can plot uh, here is the numbers it is the numbers or you can call frequency you this is also called frequency or sometimes you call relative frequency that means how many between this and this out of say how many numbers you are uh, generating ok. So, either total numbers or which are called frequency or you can call relative frequency and here are the bars. So, in the histograms if you see the histograms are like histograms are like almost all the histograms are almost uniform all, almost the same that means uh, basically in the limit of large taking large numbers basically the 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 frequency or the relative frequency will be around the same so you call it uniform so you call it uniform random number uh, generator or you call uh, you, you can think that the random numbers you are getting this is from this uniform distribution ok. And uh, if you have say for example, the the bars in the beans are like that. So, suppose you have like this, suppose you have like this, suppose you have like this, like this, like this and you tend to have kind of distribution like this. So, you can immediately recognize that this is from uh, Gaussian, this is from Gaussian or normal distribution 
okay all these are random numbers so you can actually uh, write programs to convert in a uniform distribution to a gaussian distribution or exponential distributions those are other things we are not going to discuss at the moment but i will show you uh, how whether that you are generating the random numbers through various uh, functions in the random module so you can actually uh, see uh, uh, by with pictorially you can see you can see and you can verify that those are actually coming from uh, various kinds of distributions but uh, before that i'll tell you that the there is a uh, random module in core python but also i will use uh, the random module in numpy why because that is advantageous most of the time because you know in numpy the uh, it will create it can create any n dimensional array array in <coughs> core python the random numbers are one by you are getting one random number at a time and you can create a for loop and create many random numbers uh, inside that but here in numpy you can create a, a set of random numbers one go you can create a one dimensional array you can create two dimensional array or any di dimensional array and you will uh, you will know that these arrays are basically numpy arrays and they are vectorized that means we can easily deal with them you can apply any function you can manipulate them uh, as uh, smoothly as uh, we want okay let me go to numpy import import numpy as np so inside that you have a random number generator called again random so let me uh, check uh, uh, let me check directory inside that i can check np dot random let's see what this random module in numpy what does it give well again you see uh, all these names you can see see there is a normal distribution Pareto distribution Poisson distribution there is a uh, uh, random number generator called uh, randint that means it creates integer random numbers and also random and etc let's test that so if i now see okay let me check the help uh, so if I now see write np dot random dot say random what does it give it will give well it, it's it creates a random number between 0 and 1 in the half of interval that is okay but also you can give a size that means how many random numbers you want to create so that is uh, one uh, nice thing here so if you write say np dot random dot random automatically it creates numbers between 0 1 1 0 and 1 if you write uh, this of course it will create only one number it, if you again uh, run it will create another number if you again run it will create another number and so on but if you give size equal to 10s for example that means let us see what it does it will create 10 random numbers at one go so that is the advantage that means it will create 10 random numbers between 0 and 1 and it will create a numpy array let me see let me write it as x equal to this of course so the x x is now the numpy array if you type it you can see this is this is of course numpy nd array well if you now uh, if you now if you now give it uh, if you now if you sorry if you now write np dot random random dot random and then if you write size equal to a uh, tuples for example if you write 3 comma 4 of course it will create a 2d array see this is a 2d array so it's a three rows and four columns so you can create a random matrix by this way so this is advantageous then you can use the uh, 
powerful methods in uh, NumPy to manipulate this matrix, random matrix and so on. Okay. <coughs> so, this is uh, uh, what you do, what we, we do. Let me create a, a random number x np dot say let me call it r r equal to np dot random dot uniform. So, this is a declared name uniform that means you will understand that it will create random numbers uh, between some limit and it will create uniform random numbers. Of course, this random also create uniform random numbers, but it is by default between 0 to 1 and here you can create numbers between say for example, you can also give 0 to 1 or you can give say some 5 to uh, 100 ok, does not matter. Let me let me check, let me write 0 to 1 and then you can write size equal to say, say uh, 1000, 1, right. So, or say 100,000 for example, ok. So, you create that, well you create that, ok, you, you create that, ok. So, let us look at it it created uh, this uh, 100,000 random numbers, 1 lakh random numbers. Okay. So, now uh, what we will do? How do I know that these numbers, suppose you are given such numbers, some numbers, these numbers. How do you know that these numbers, this, these, these, these random numbers are created from a uniform distribution? The first thing you do you get you you can do is that you want to see the distribution what do you, how do you do that you have to do the binning that means you have to uh, write a code where you have to uh, check whether this number this is belongs uh, this is, is between say 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 this number is between say uh, 0 to 0.1 this number is between say 0. 5 and 0.6 and so on for example, well, 0 0.6 and 0 0.7 and so for example. It depends on how small or big your bin size is that way the, the bins will be uh, fat or narrow and uh, you can collect the numbers, count the numbers, how many numbers are between this bin and that bin and that bin and then you can draw the histogram and uh, finally, you can sh see the shape, shape of the distribution. Also, you can join the middle points of this histogram bars and you can create a continuous distribution like. So, you can actually uh, get satisfied that uh, to get to know that what are those random numbers, where from they come, where they come and what is the underlying distribution. This is the first step. So, but we do not have to fortunately uh, write a code, uh, we can do it by matplotlib. Let us see. So, import mat plot plot lib dot dot uh, pi plot as plt ok and you write plt dot plot not plot plt dot hist if you write uh, this r this set of 100,000 random numbers what it will do it will create a histogram but it will also show you basically the two it is a tuple of two sets of numbers uh, two sets of arrays this first array will give you the frequency values frequencies see the single numbers these are the how many numbers are between this and this it is by default and it will by default 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 I, I think it will create some 10 or something 1 2 3 4 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, that means uh, 10 uh, this thing, uh, the intervals it will create, 10 bins it will create. So, these are the end points. Uh, the, 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 so, you will see this is the uh, left end of the left end of the first bin, uh, right end of the first bin and the left end of the second bin and this is the right end of the second bin and uh, this is the again the left end of the third bin and this is the 
write it w third bin and so on and the these are the frequencies so it gives you the two sets of arrays one set of array is the frequency and the another set another array will tell you the bins about the uh, the the limits of the bins uh, okay and it shows like this it doesn't look good okay uh, let me also write some keyword arguments where it will show you uh, the uh, if i write h color equal to black say for example then uh, this will show you something better okay let's see that well now you can see uh, the the you can see the uh, uh, the the uh, histogram where this uh, these are the uh, basically this 0 to 0 0.1 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 and so on these are the the default uh, bins we can also give and the bin number so you can see okay bin num bins equal to say 40 for example we want to create 40 bins these are this all can be done through these uh, keyword arguments in the hist function inside this uh, pipe plot okay so you can do that so you see the bins are now narrower and there are many many bins and between 0 to 1 and you see on an average we have for uh, a total 40 bins and on an average you see the look at the number uh, the on an average uh, they are having 2500 uh, numbers counted this is just the number so frequency not the relative frequency actually uh, 2500 by 100000 will give you the relative frequency right and that num ratio when the total number tends to infinity or very large you, you will get that is the frequency so that is the uh, that is the probability then it will have this the probability distribution basically uh, this is more or less a probability distribution but you see the heights of them are more or less equal so they are you can ident you can identify that these numbers these numbers you created are from uniform distribution right now you see uh, let me talk about uh, let me talk about another distribution for example for example for example say you have a normal distribution say so, let me talk about this normal distribution but before i apply let me check what is the help uh, help np dot random dot uh, normal let us see what it says it says that you have to uh, location and scale that means basically the I think uh, this will be the mean value for a normal distribution you need two things two parameters mean value and the variance or standard deviation I think it is going to tell you that only but anyway yeah you can you can see mu is uh, 0 and sigma is 0 0.1 for example ok so let me let me now create say another uh, uh, say uh, say y y equal to np dot random dot normal ok and uh, I give uh, say 0 is the say uh, or 0 0.5 is the mean um, ok so 0 is the mean and uh, mu and sigma is say 0 0.5 okay and i want to create a size equal to 100 thousand just the same number we created for uniform distribution so here it is so if you uh, now see why you will not understand these numbers of course these numbers will be from between minus to plus because uh, the mean is zero and it will be plus minus that uh, does not matter you can give it some other value um, and uh, you can shift the numbers between uh, some whatever scale you want but anyway so these are the numbers again these are the again random numbers forget about plus minus this is because the way we created this so uh, uh, given these numbers you will not understand with your bare eyes that these are from normal distribution or uniform distribution or whatever we could create an uniform distribution between minus 1 and plus 1 ok but now what you do you will also create a histogram here 
so y and say bin is equal to again say 40 and say h color uh, h color equal to say black let me show you uh, what it does of course again oh yeah uh, i think uh, what is what is done uh, oh it has created but i think uh, i have done some mistake spelling mistake h color okay so that's what let me sh show you this okay so it will again uh, uh, give you a set of information two arrays the first array uh, for frequencies and the second array are the uh, edges of the um, uh, bins two sides of the bins for each bin okay so if you see this see if you if you if you if you see the distribution here is a clearly is a normal distribution you have a mean here at 0 and you go 0 0.5 here 0 0.5 on two sides sigma is 0 0.5 so the distribution is like that if you take many more many more data in place of 100000 you if you take 100 thousand 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 and so on these uh, this distribution will be more and more pronounced uh, it's like a normal distribution you can fit and check and so on so that is the story that we have very many different kinds of random numbers we uh, need to use them for our statistical modeling for our understanding a random phenomenon a stochastic phenomenon so sometimes we know need Poisson distribution sometimes we need exponential distribution sometimes we need to create uh, um, normal distribution and so on um, and uh, and we can actually uh, get to see what they look like what are the distributions actually look like so uh, this is the end of this this part thank you